they say that great things come in small packages and that is absolutely true for the Jackrabbit. This bike is a ton of fun. I really had a good time reviewing it. It's only $999, it's lightweight, it's got a powerful motor. It's a whole new riding experience. So let me break everything down for you and show you what this thing can do. Okay guys, you got a ton of power for the size and how heavy this bike is. A 300 watt brushless motor and that is powered by a 36 volt 4.2 amp hour battery that can be removed with the two keys they give you. It can be charged in the bike or out of the bike which takes two hours so it's got a very quick charge time. It only has throttle, there's no pedals, just pegs that do fold up and down and it's rated up to 20 miles per hour so let's uh, see if I can hit that. Okay, throttle only. I got a full charge on the bike. Here we go. And that power is almost instantaneous. It's kind of slow for the first five, 10 feet, but now it's starting to ramp up. There's already past 15. This is pretty zippy for being so small. It's crazy. There's 19, then 20. So zero to 15 is actually pretty fast. It starts to level off around 16, 17, but uh, still reached 20 miles per hour within a block. I'm impressed. This is the lightest bike I've ever reviewed at 24 pounds, but can carry a rider up to 240, which is, that's, that's impressive. It's time to see how long it takes to hit that top speed. I'm 185 pounds, got a flat stretch of road and a full charge of the bike. Let's see how fast I can reach it. Time to see how long the Jackrabbit can go. It's got a range rating of 10 plus miles for this first range test. Gonna ride it nice and easy, just constant speed, not a lot of stop and go, and see how far I can get. All right guys, well, let me tell you a little bit about the bike as I'm on the range test. It does come in four colors, black, white, yellow, and blue. You can add a basket, you can add fenders, you can buy extra batteries. As far as the wiring, just two wires in the front. It's all external, but they have made it look pretty clean. So it's a very unique look, it has a very tiny frame, very small bike with these normal sized bike tires. It's kind of a mixture between a bike and a scooter. There's no pedals, you just have the two foot pegs and the pegs do fold up, which is nice. There are some products that I review that I'm excited to try out. They just look fun to ride. This is one of them. And I've been getting a lot of looks from people on the trail. This is just something you don't see every day. Now it actually folds. The handlebars have a quick release sort of deal that just pop out. So you can condense this. Very easy to transport and take with you. That's kind of the whole idea with something like this. I'm gonna test out the balance. Take my hands off the handlebars for a few seconds. As far as the weight distribution front to back is super nice. Motor's making zero noise. Tires are nice on the trail. Not a lot of noise coming from there. Sounds durable. Sounds really good. There's certain bikes that don't sound that good. The motor can pulsate sometimes. That's not the case with this. It's very solid, even when climbing. Okay, the first light went out. So I have the yellow and the red left and I've gone 4.95 miles and pretty consistent riding, maybe stopped four or five times. And I have been topping the bike out, so hit 19, 20 miles per hour. So handling is pretty unique. It's unlike anything else I've tried. Just being on something this small, going 20 miles per hour, you just feel very involved in the trail. You can just feel the trail and it's more like immersed riding experience. That's the best way I can describe it. Hello. <laughs> People are just staring at me. I love it. Taking this around 27, 20 miles per hour and feel very stable at that speed. And taking corners at 20 miles an hour is just fun. Just weave it in and out of these lines. Kind of get a little bit of a rush, a little drop in the tummy. I really like how this handles. If I turn too sharp, if I get going a little crazy, my shoe does hit that rub against that back tire, which does scare me a little bit. But other than that, this is just super fun to ride. You guys are looking for a different riding experience. You got to try this. I just lost a second battery bar and I've gone 7.49 miles. And again, full throttle, about maybe four or five stops. We'll dive into the geometry. It has a rider size rating of 410 to 62. I'm 5'11 and you know, I, I feel pretty big on it as you would imagine. I actually don't have the saddle raised to the highest position. I did for the first mile and I felt super top heavy and I'd rather just bend my knees a little bit more and lower my center of gravity. I just get better stability that way. So that's what I would recommend, especially if you wanna go fast. So the entire bike is only 48 inches long. Most of your standard bikes, that's what the wheelbase usually is. It's only 21 inches wide and 39 inches high 
high. And at that height, it's pretty easy to put your feet down and just stabilize yourself. If you do hit a rough section or lose a little bit of control. The posture this has is more of like sitting in a chair. My back's straight up. I can easily reach the handlebars. In fact, if I just stretch my arm out, I can go about another four or five inches. So the cockpit area, the space here is pretty small. My knees are about, you know, eight, nine inches from the grips. And so it's, it's cozy. You know, it's something that you would expect for a micro bike. All right, I'm on my last battery bar. I wanna give you guys another demo of the acceleration and speed. So here we go. Ooh, definitely slower. <laughs> and I just barely hit this last battery bar too. So very, very slow off the line. Power still comes on as fast as it did with the full battery, but it's just about half as strong. Yeah, it's pretty weak and looks like we're gonna be topping out at 12 miles per hour. Oh, there's 13. Oh, and there's 14. So 14 is the new top speed with uh, one battery bar left or the last battery bar. So about six miles per hour from a full battery down to a low level battery. I dive into the cockpit. Uh, the handlebar length is pretty good size for the frame of the bike. They do rise up about two and a half inches and you got a massive stem on this. That's gotta be, you know, seven, eight inches. I haven't seen these style of grips before, but I like them. They're actually fairly comfortable. They do move a little bit. The saddle is quite big for the size of the bike. A little above average for comforts. You have two different sizes of tires on this. The front, there's a 20 by 1.95 inch. And in the rear, there's a 20 by 2.5 inch. And they've done that to just give more stability to the bike. And they got some tread on them too. They're not like super slick tires. So you do have some traction. There's no suspension on the bike. And so I've lowered those, both those tires down quite a bit to the lowest PSI level. And that has help to take away the smaller vibrations. The bigger bumps and cracks, it rocks you pretty good. I find myself standing up when I, you know, come to a, one of those bigger cracks. Now the nice thing about this, when the battery does die, is you can just put your foot on one side of the peg and or one side of the bike and use your other one to pump. It's actually working out pretty good. That grinding noise is my <laughs> foot hitting the back wheel. Yeah, it beats walking. Just use it like a regular kick scooter. Or you can just sit down and just use one of your legs to kick it along. Both work pretty good. Okay, that wraps up the race test. My app recorded over eight miles with like 88 feet elevation gain, which, you know, they say 10 plus, so I'm actually okay with eight. Uh, that battery is just tiny. So for my 185 pound frame, eight miles is pretty dang good. And I did take it until the battery died. I had to kind of huff it last uh, mile back to my truck, so. Now you know what it can do from a full battery to an empty battery with pretty consistent traveling, you know, maybe about a dozen stops throughout the whole ride. Got a full charge on the bike. It's time to do range test number two. This time riding a little bit harder with a lot more stop and go. Range test two complete. I took the bike until it uh, died again, and I pretty much got the same range as I did with the first test. I actually forgot to stop my app. Got a little bit more elevation this time, about 100 feet more, which was nice. So eight miles is what you can expect if you're 185 pounds, riding a hard or nice. There's no torque rating for the motor, but it does have a 12% grade hill rating. So let's see how well it can climb. This has got to be 10 to 12% grade. Gonna get some momentum. Let's see what I can do here. Oh, and it's dying fast. <laughs> I'll be really impressed if this can make it up. Holy cow. Six, five, four, almost there. Three, zero, still going. Still going. Wow. It's slow, but it powered up. That is impressive. That's actually gotta be like 10 to 12%. <laughs> That's insane. Oh, well, there's 180 millimeter rear disc. Let's see how well it can stop me coming down the same hill. I just came up for the hill test. I'm gonna give you a demo of the brakes. Got a small hill, can get some speed here. Do some hard braking right about now. <laughs> Woo, that's a big old skid mark. Uh, very stable braking at that uh, speed and that hard. 
that was as hard as I could go. Don't need a lot of pressure on the lever either. That, that engages very nicely. With these smaller bikes, I'm always worried about going over the handlebars because I have done that before when I do hard braking. And that's not the case with this. That was very stable. Not the quickest stopping power, but you know, decent. Uh, really not a lot as far as the uh, screen and control panels. This is it right here. Power button on off shows the battery life. One, two, three levels, throttle. And there is a bell on the left side. And that's it. The Jackrabbit has an IPX4 waterproof rating, a one year warranty and free shipping in the lower 48. Well, overall guys, if you couldn't tell, I really enjoyed the Jackrabbit. It has just a unique riding experience. And that's one thing that I look for as I review just so many bikes and scooters and just a bunch of toys. Looking for that different, unique riding experience and this has it. So if you do want to pick it up, I've got the link in the description. Also be sure to check out my website, electricrevolutionreviews.com. There you can find all my reviews sorted by price and capability. Hit that like button before you go. Subscribe for the latest in electric bike board and scooter reviews. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Holy moly win! It's so wind down! <laughs> <laughs>